Welcome back, you guys. This is Ashley Alexander from the Unnamed Music Show. And today, I am reviewing the long-awaited Nine Inch Nails album, Hesitation Marks. I can't express enough how big of a fan I am, how much I love Trent Reznor, and how long I've been waiting for this album. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this album, and I had the really fortunate fact of meeting Trent Reznor this past weekend in Philly. Oh my God. They so cool. Anyway, got to see Nine Inch Nails perform for the first time in Philadelphia. I know, I'm a big fan and I can never get out to shows to really see the people I love to see. So I finally got to see him in the full show, in the full spectacle, in a big, big, big stage. And it's worth it. It really is. Go check out the new tour when it comes around. This new album, Hesitation Marks, it's not like The Fragile and it's not like Downward Spiral. Which, by the way, if you did not know, Downward Spiral is in the top 500 greatest albums of all time, according to Rolling Stone. So if you don't have it, or you have no idea what I'm talking about between The Fragile and Downward Spiral, you are missing out on something necessary. No, this album isn't like Downward Spiral, people have to evolve. But to get an idea of what they sound like, because they're industrial rock, that's different. I guess some would throw Manson Marilyn Manson into that, yeah, but that's that's small potatoes and what we're talking about. So, Trent Reznor, really cool situation. If I'm not mistaken, I think they're from like California or something like that. But regardless, Trent Reznor is an amazing songwriter and an amazing producer. Let me show you how cool this guy is. This guy is so cool. He got nominated for an Oscar for doing the music for The Social Network. He got an Oscar for the score he did for The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, which if you see the intro to The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, the American version, it's really, really, really sick. Kind of an insight into the type of music he does, but not like that. And most importantly, he got Johnny Cash to cover a Nine Inch Nails song called Hurt. Yeah, you guys, Hurt's not a Johnny Cash song. Definitely Nine Inch Nails, and he got him to cover it. That's a boss. So. For me with this album, because I've seen it live, and I can give a little bit of an opinion now, since I've heard the studio version and I've seen it live, my top three favorite songs from the album are Find A Way, it's similar to Hurt. Real simple, piano, just vocals to the point, and I like the way you sing. It's very, it's very dark and it's very cryptic, and I really, really like it. Number two is Copy of a which is what they played. If you go on YouTube and look at the Made in America Festival, it's the first song that they play when they come out. It's really, you know, electronic, and it's very repetitive, and it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. And number one is the single, Came Back Haunted. To me, I initially wasn't with it at first. It sounded too poppy for what I was looking for, but you can't be as depressed as you were with Downward Spiral. Like, people grow up and evolve, and he's not the same person anymore. So for me, Came Back Haunted is a pretty good single, pretty good invite into the album and a pretty good way to see where Nine Inch Nails and Trent Reznor are just with their music at this point because all this time in between he's been doing films. So for me, if you should skip it or download it or buy it, buy it. We can't go another five, six, ten years without another Nine Inch Nails album. We can't let this happen again. Buy it. It's so good. And when you buy it, Go get the downward spiral and the fragile so you have a complete idea of what I'm talking about. There's such a good quality rock band. Everybody needs to get into it and not be so concerned that it's like Manson or that it's like satanic or something. Because it's not. If you listen to Tyler Creator, Nine Inch Nails, ain't none of that. It's quality musicianship. He's kind of like Prince, plays a bunch of instruments except for the drums. He's incredibly talented and very amazing. And you should really, really give it a chance. So you can talk to me on Twitter at always double A or on Instagram and on Facebook, whichever, whichever avenue works for you. Also, let me know what you think about it in the comments too. The more comments, the more acknowledgement, the better it is for everybody. So Nine Inch Nails, hesitation marks, we can't, we just can't let this fall through the cracks, you guys. So let me know what you think. Talk to you soon. Bye.